What do you believe in? Well, not in God. Okay, what? Uh, I'm not really sure in what I do believe. Okay, yeah. So you're not Definitely sure what you not believe in. in. No, no. So, sure so wh where do you believe you came from? Where I came from? Yeah. Well, straight out of my mom. <laughs> well, well, that's a good answer. Today's been an interesting day. We've had lots of opposition, lots of people who are just not interested in the gospel, who are very kind of like against it. Do you believe in God at all? Sorry. No. And sometimes you can want to, you, you want to just walk away and give up, but you've got to push through and push through and push through because there's one person there that God wants to teach or reach and God wants to, to touch. Do you believe in God at all? No, no, no. Can, may I ask why? Just I don't believe in him. Hi. If there was a God, why, why would there be all these deaths, all these pedophiles? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So I'm a great yeah. believer in that. So no, I don't believe in God. Yeah, yeah. Don't take it personally when people don't want to hear what you've got to say. Just keep going and you'll find that God has someone that he wants you to speak to. God is the God of breakthrough, but we're the ones who give up too soon. So earlier on, we were speaking to a Spanish woman called Irina and she, her wrist, she had fallen nine days ago and she damaged her wrist and sprained it quite badly. And we prayed for her and nothing really happened and we prayed for her again and nothing really happened and and you would want to give up so i want to encourage you don't give up then we prayed and we prayed and we prayed about five or six times for her and then she said oh it feels different it's not the same now not all the pain had gone but but a lot of the pain had gone in her arm and she and so we encouraged her to to keep trusting god we encouraged her that even tomorrow she will see that it's even less painful and, 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 and healed and she will give us a call and she'll let us know and that's what was happening with that lady you know sometimes when you pray for people and it doesn't happen you want to give up don't give up excuse me hi hi do you mind if i ask you a question yeah sure. we're we're filming uh, do you mind that as well <laughs> i'm making a short documentary what we do is we go all over the uk in different parts of the world as you can hear my accent's not local but um we ask people this question and here's the question mm -hmm. Do you have any pain in your body at all? Any sickness or anything? Uh, my left knee, I'm what, sorry. What happened to it? Um, I, I'm from Ireland, so I play a camogie. And, okay. Uh, it's just a bang, I suppose. All right, uh, this one here? Yeah. On the knock? Yeah. So Katrina, I just speak to this knee and I come on, pain, go right now. Be healed now. Move it around, see how it feels. Go on. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's hypnosis. No, 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 no. You say, so what do you think just happened there? Well, I felt warm from your hands. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. the warming I... of your hands may have okay. the process? Right, okay. Know. How's it feeling? It feel, feels cold now. Yeah, but... but kind of wet. Is it, <laughs> but it's not feeling painful anymore? No, no. it feels good, yeah. Good. Mm, Katrina, good. <laughs> let me tell you what it is. Mm -hmm. We're all Christians from different churches, different backgrounds, and we travel around the world and we do what Jesus said, to go out and if people are sick, to lay hands on them and heal them to, and to share the love of God and the gospel of Jesus with people. And that's what we're doing. Oh we're, God, we're, yeah. yeah, I was brought up Catholic, mm. and, but, but people say, are you Catholic or are you Protestant? I'm, actually, I'm neither, because I can't find Catholics in the Bible. I can't find Protestants in the Bible. I can't find, but I, what I find is disciples and followers of Christ. And that's what we are, and that's what we're doing. So I'm actually a minister. I've been, I, was, I pastored churches for 22 years, but I've been going onto the streets now for the last three years. I felt God saying, don't just sit in your buildings, go and show people who I am. Don't expect them to come to me and don't give them religion, give them life. Yeah. Jesus didn't die to, to, to bring us religion. He died to bring us life and relationship with God. Mm. And that's what we're showing people. Do you believe that? <laughs> yeah, no, I do. Well, I believe yeah. something anyway. Yeah. I don't yeah. not believe it, you know? Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. Yeah, like I'm kind of the same as you. Like I, I was brought up Catholic, but yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, like are, yeah. Like obviously you're entitled to question it. Yes. So I have been questioning it. And but you I'm, should. I'm not really against yeah. it. So yeah, I'm just kind yeah. of going with the flow and just seeing yeah. what happens. Father, I want to thank you for Katrina. I want to thank you that you love her. The Lord Jesus, that you died for her and that you, you, you didn't die to bring a religion, you died to bring a relationship. And I want to pray for her to discover that in, in the fullness that you have for her, that you direct her steps, you lead her life, you give her peace, you give her joy. And Father God, that you, you, you lead her and guide her every day of her life, I pray, in Jesus' name, into the truth that sets her free. Amen. Amen. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks so much. Lovely meeting you. You too. And the best of luck as well. Thank you. Bye-bye. 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 <laughs> so what you just saw there was somebody who got healed somebody who was open to the gospel and will go away 
and will think about that. And she's open, she's questioning, and she's not interested in religion, but she is interested in God. And she met with God today, and that's what we want to share with her, and we want to share with you. Don't give up, push through, know that it's not about you, and it's not about our feelings. It's about reaching people, no matter how we feel. And that's what Jesus did. He went all the way to the cross, even though he knew it was going to cost him. So when people are rejecting what we have to say, we're not paying the price that Jesus paid. He's already paid that price. So I want to encourage you, keep going and push through. You'll see amazing things happen.